more sugars. Oh no, no more sugars. Oh my goodness. People ask me every day how do I do it. I said I take one day at a time and I don't take nothing for granted. Where I had her was in um, Laurenburg, and uh, they did newborn screenings, and uh, it come back stating that something was wrong. My mind was like racing, like, what's wrong with my child? You know, <laughs> I never heard of nothing, you know, going wrong with a child with their feeding. It's just like, why me? <laughs> like, what did I do wrong, you know, for this to happen to my child? When she was 10 months old, well, she had started having seizures that build up to the glutaric stroke. It caused right side weakness, and um, she has problems with uh, using her right side. It's why it stays up all the time. And then when we had her, they told me it was like a 25% chance every time I got pregnant, it would happen. So since, you know, we already had one, you know, this one will be the same. You know, we thought it was going to be easier. <laughs> was I hit with a hardball? He ended up having a seizure when he was 14 months old, and it set him way back. So he never got the experience of crawling, turning over, and nothing. And, you know, it was easier to work with her, but him is a whole different story. But he loved his attention, and he always had a smile on his face. Never, never a frown. Unless he didn't feel good, but he still tried to hold a smile. Hello, fat boy. Baby. But he was tired, his body was tired. And that Saturday morning, I'll never forget it, he looked at me like, I'm sorry, Mom, I gotta go. That's the look he gives me. Buddy. God bless me with almost 17 years with him. I wouldn't have him back for nothing in this world. It might hurt, and it's gonna hurt every day, but you gotta thank God for the time that he gave him to you. encouragement I'd give anybody is to have patience and take one day at a time and I always ask questions don't be scared to ask questions because there's never a wrong answer unless you don't ask <laughs>